Hi there, the next part of the video why I feel myself one of the supreme human being on earth because thought in the mind has made us what we are by thought was rotten built. We are what we think, all that we are arises with our thought, with our thought we make the world. This is the conclusion of all the wisest of the wise. So said one of the great Disraeli. The man is literally what he thinks all day long. So said Ralph Waldo Emerson. The man is what he thinks and thinks and thinks. So you become what you really think about. And everyone said that, so I don't want to go into detail. So then you will ask what you think. I always think everything what is pure. Purity of thought. And I tell you in a nutshell and summary, the purity of thought is truth, justice, peace, love and non-violence. Kindness, compassion, honesty, integrity, humility, generosity, affection, cooperation, sympathy, understanding, empathy. Feelings for every creature, just like you feel yourself, Atma Sarvoteso. Thinking good of all, being good with all, behaving good with all, means think good of all. Behave good with all. That is the real meaning of living in a harmonious way with everyone. Thought, good for all. Behavior, very polished, respectable way of behaving. And, dear friends, that will really make you like me. Love all, respect all, care for all. So that is the purity of thought. And what is evil? Greed, anger, hatred, jealousy and cynicism. The ignorant, indolent, thoughtless, useless, groveling, bestial people, they will insult you. They will tell you you are useless. You are foolish. You are every nonsense. You know why? My best friend Ralph Waldo Emerson said, any bloody fool who is giving the bad opinion of the world, he is just depicting his own inner feelings, he is depicting his own career. Because he has no that wisdom and vision and intelligence to understand others. Only the wisest men like my Gurudev Dr. Jivi Krishna already understand who is good and who is bad. Because these people have enlightened themselves and they have no illusion, confusion. They really know exactly who is what. But very rarely will find such kind of people. That needs a lot of insight, a lot of patience and a lot of self-discipline, self-control, calmness of mind. So that is, you can learn from Patanjali Yoga Sutra in the second chapter and that is Niyama. Once we have to conduct ourselves, how we should conduct? We have to purify our mind. As I told you, what are the purity of thoughts? Second, dear friends, we have to be contented. There is no end to the luxuries, the comforts and everything. So whatever you have earned with honest blood, toil, tears and sweat, be contented. In Jura there, there is real peace and happiness in being contented. The third point is tapasa. You can achieve everything with full measure and devocation and utility of mind. By perseverance, patience, diligence, intelligence, decision making, perfect plan of action. Not surrendering before adversity is misfortune. Never allowing greed and anger, hatred, jealousy to dominate your mind. Never be afraid of fear and doubt falling being defeated, be brave, fight every battle and you will be ultimately a champion. And last but not the least, you have to have personal initiative. Your positive mental attitude will be your real might and strength like I have. I will never surrender before even the wisest, even the most powerful, even before Alexander and Napoleon the Great, because my head will never bow before these idiots. Nobody is greater than me, nobody is better than me, nobody is smaller than me. I am myself because I follow the righteous path. Anybody follow the righteous path, they are respectable. I never surrender before anybody because they have a legacy of great atrocities, criminals, wars, destructions, annihilating the whole world, getting atomic bomb bombarding on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, killing innocent birds, beasts, animals. Violence! Never surrender, never surrender. 
I will never surrender because my bread is of Subhas Bose, Vivekananda. My bread is of Chandrasekhar Rajas, Bhagat Singh, Lal Bal Pal, all the bravest men of India and all the greats all over the world. That is my guru and guide, my man of the Dr. J.V. Krishna Reddy of the rank of such wise people as Abraham Lincoln. They are ready to wipe the tears of everyone. That's why the Emancipation Proclamation loves all. These great people respect all. They never deplore anyone. They never underestimate anyone. They never now use ill words about everyone. Only fools can do this. Only idiot can utter such derogatory, slandering words because he don't know what he's talking. He has not learned anything what I'm teaching you, my friends. Last but not least is for every rule, rule of your life, nature has a rule. That's why nature, yoga, pati, naro, veda. Learn that. Learn the rule of traffic where I'm traveling. Learn the rule of the society. Learn the rule of the land of the land. That is your constitution. Be the most law-abiding citizen of the universe. That's why I'm that self-believing person. A self-confident person, a self-destiny shaper, because I am the master of my fate and captain of my soul, because I have absolute control over my thought, I am the mastery over my conduct and behavior. That's why I create my conditions, environment and circumstances. But simultaneously, run across with some fools, they insult you, humiliate you. And Buddha said, Buddha said, Forgive them. And lastly, he said, better ignore these fools because they are nothing better than dogs. Dogs are very loyal, but they don't know exactly why they are barking. Thank you, viewers.